All right, here with the one and only London Fletcher. Covered your career, now you're moving over into the broadcasting space. Uh, we know you're gonna excel because you excel in everything, but what's it like, you know, being on the other end, being on our end now, interviewing people? <laughs> well, no, I'm not on your <laughs> end, so to speak, but you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, to be back with the team, calling the games, be back. I'm excited to be in the stadium. For a former player, yeah. it's the closest you can get to, to playing the game again. I'm excited to, to, to get started with Julian Bram. Mm -hmm. Um, guys playing your position. I know uh, I saw Doc out here looking at the tight ends because I love seeing what I used to play. The, your assessment of the tight ends, of all the, the nuances in the building, the tight end, I mean the uh, the linebacker position. So, you know, I, I really like the way Cole Holcomb played last year. He got he got thrust into the middle linebacker position last year yeah. once some, some injuries took place. I thought he did a lot of good things. I expect even bigger things for him this year with him having a full off season to work at the middle linebacker position. I'm expecting Jamin Davis to really have a, a, a uptick in his production. I mean, just a gift, a gifted athlete. He'll be more comfortable in the system. I think having him play at the linebacker, the outside linebacker position really suits him, and he'll be able to use his range and athleticism to go out and make plays. Mm -hmm. If I can say, um, we really appreciated how you handled your business here, the solo tackles, everything that you did. When you look at your body of work, can you, London Fletcher, say you left everything on the field that you you completed what your assignment was? So I get I get asked the question a lot, do I miss it? And I say no. And the reason I say no is because I left everything I had on the football field. I had nothing left. I had nothing left to, uh, to give. And I walked away from the game knowing I, I, I gave it gave it my all. I played hard for each team I played for, played hard for my teammates, and I tried to represent my family and myself in a, in a manner that would be pleasing to them. So I, I don't miss it. I, I left everything out on the football field. Now I'm just excited to watch the other guys do it. Mm -hmm. The guardian caps that you see out here, the safety and everything like that, is the league going in the right direction? Is the league doing the right things in your eyes? I think so because, you know, when you look at the collisions, that we see the Sunday collisions that take place. But a lot of times, you know, I've mm -hmm. had, I can remember when I was practicing and having some collisions that took place in the, on the practice field, just helmet to helmet, incidental contact, things that you don't think would cause a concussion or, or getting your bell rung, but them doing that, adding the, the guardian caps for the offensive linemen, defensive linemen, linebackers and running backs, it, it was a smart thing to do. It's making the game a lot safer. And I think um, it's, it, it's headed in the right direction, just making the game safer. I've always wanted to ask you, people who played your position, who is the one linebacker that you just like, you know what, that's the guy I'd love to see play. Oh, well, growing up, my guy was Mike Singletary. That was, that was the guy that, that I, I love, those eyes that he had and, and just the intensity that he played with. So Mike Singletary was the guy. Mm -hmm. We love you. We're looking forward to seeing you on the call, man. You've always been a pleasure. You never embarrassed the uniform, never embarrassed us, and we appreciate that. I appreciate you. All right, All right thanks.